Uh, good day. Today we're gonna tackle about heat transfer through conductivity. So, understanding heat transfer conduction. So, heat transfer. Heat always moves from a warmer place to a cooler place. Hot objects in a cooler room will cool to room temperature. So, cold objects in a warmer, warmer room will heat up to room temperature. So, question. If a cup of coffee and a red popsicle were left on the table in this room, what would it happen to them? Why? The cup of coffee will cool until it reaches the room temperature. The popsicle will melt and then the liquid will warm to room temperature. So there are three forms of heat transfer. So through conduction, convection, and radiation. So in conduction, heat transfer by direct contact with the source of, of heat. So particles in contact with heat vibrate pass energy through vibrations to other particles. So most significant means of heat transfer within a solid and between solid objects. Fluids, especially gases, are less conductive. So why does conduction work best in solids? Conduction work best efficiently, most efficiently when particles are in contact with each other. So since in solids, particles are touching, transfer, I transfer is quicker. In liquid and gases, particles are further apart, so transfer by, con by conduction is more difficult. So, in this example, so the metal is heating because it is in fire. So, the pot heats up because it is on the hot stove element. So, as you can see, this, per this person must use a pot holder because her hand would go through conduction if it is were, if it were on the cookie sheet so another example of it is when when you heat a metal strip at one end the heat travels to the other end as you hit the metal the particles vibrate this vibration make the adjacent particles vibrate and so on and so on the vibrations are passed along the metal and so the heat so we call this conduction so, in metals, the outer blank of a metal, metal atoms drift are free to move. So, the outer electrons. So, when the metal is heated, the sea of electrons gain kinetic energy and transfer throughout the metal. So, insulators such as wood and plastic do not have the sea of electrons which is why they do not conduct heat as well as metals so why does metal feel colder than the wood if they are both at the same temperature so metals is a good conductor wood is an insulator metal conducts the heat away from your hands wood does not conduct the heat away from your hands as well as the metal so the wood feels warmer than the metal so these are the formulas in f for solving conduction so uh, for pipes, the for, the main formula is Q, the Q, Q, which is the heat transfer is multiplied by the I is equal to surface conductance inside multiplied by the inner surface area, then multi multiplied by the difference of that temperature. These other formulas are derived from the main source of the formula so four pipes uh, so q1 is equivalent to 2 pi k multiplied by the length of the, the pipe then the the temperature a minus the temperature b over the ln which is the ra radius 2 over radius 1 which is uh, outer over inner so, as, uh, as what I've said earlier, it is, it is also the same for walls. Uh, Q1 is equivalent to K, which is the thermal conductivity, times the area, then multiplied by the term at temperature A, 
minus temperature be over the thickness of the material then so on so forth then uh, this these other formulas are just the derivation of the main formula number one so the known is heat flux and the surface temperature associated with with a wood slab of the prescribed thickness so find the thermal conductivity which is the k so we're gonna write the the general formula which is the heat transfer is equivalent to the thermal conductivity multiplied by the area times the temperature 1 minus temperature 2 over x or you can call it L. So, uh, K is the missing so we're gonna just transpose it. So, I'm gonna go to QA. So, Q, L, T1 minus T2. So, Q is given. So, Q is 40 watts per meter squared. Then, L is given also. So, which is 0 0.005 meters over the change of temperature which is T1 which is 40 minus the temperature 2 which is 20 so the final answer of the thermal conductivity is can I use calculator 40 uh, multiplied by 0 0.05 over 40 minus 20 so the final answer is 0 0.1 0 0.1 watts per meter k so this is the final answer so in problem number two the known is thickness diameter and inner surface temperature of bottom of pan used to boil water. So, find the outer surface temperature of pan for an aluminum and a copper bottom. So, we're gonna find the temperature one of aluminum and copper. So, the general formula is Q is equivalent to K times the area multiplied by T1 minus T2, which is the difference of temperature, over L. So, uh, in finding the temperature 1 for aluminum and copper, we'll first find the area. So, area is equivalent to pi diameter uh, squared over 4. So, pi, the diameter which is given, point 2 times the squared divided by 4 is equivalent to zero point zero three one four meter squared. So we will just rewrite this general formula so we can come up with this T1 uh, which is the T2 given plus uh, the heat transfer then the length over uh, the thermal conductivity times the area so T1 is equivalent to T2 which is given which is 110 Celsius plus heat transfer which is 600 watts multiplied by the length which is 0 0.005 meters then over the thermal conductivity which is 240 watts per meter k uh, multiplied by area which is 0 0.0314 
meters. So, the final answer for the temperature one for aluminum is six, 110 plus 600 times 0 0.005 over 240 multiplied by 0 0.0314. We will come up with the answer of 110, 110.39 or we can round it off to 4 Celsius. So this is the T1 for aluminum. So in finding the, the answer for T1 for copper so same formula then uh, so tito is given also so tito is 110 celsius plus 600 same heat transfer same length but different in thermal conductivity which is 394 copper watts per meter k multiplied by area which is the, also the same 0 0.0314 meter squared we can come up with the answer of 110 also 110 110 but different in decimal which is 24 Celsius. So this is the final answer for the temperature one for aluminum and for copper.